morning people how are we all doing this morning say morning you might be watching this in the evening i'm not sure because i'm not with you but uh yeah taking you out for the day again today because uh the last video i did really well so i thought we'd do another one of these the camera angle ain't quite right sorry there we go so we've got a few jobs to get around today we're going to the first one now which is to cut down i believe it's five doors just new carpets cut them down then we need to go and pick up some materials for a job that I'm starting. Might get around to starting it today, I'm not too sure. Uh, but we'll definitely be starting it tomorrow. And that's building some cabinets in a garage conversion. Well, I say garage conversion, they're converting it into a bar. Should look quite nice, actually. And then after that, we'll be back in the workshop. And we need to build some ladder plinths. So we're going to get around as many of them as we can today. Like I said, if if we get time, we'll jump on the units, but I'm not expecting to, to be honest. So by the time we get round everything, we'll see how we get on. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on the road. Ah, oh, and we've got no diesel. Didn't know that. Should have checked that yesterday, shouldn't I? But yeah, like I said, we're off now. So we're only going 15 minutes down the road. I don't know why it keeps on doing that. So I've got an air tag hidden in my van. And uh, every morning I get in the van, it starts bleeping. I don't know if it's bleeping all the time. I hope not. But it's not bleeping while I'm driving. So it must be something to do with when the phone like connects to it, Bluetooth or something, it starts bleeping. I don't know. I don't know enough about them. But if any of you don't know why the air tag that's hidden in the van starts bleeping, let me know. But anyway, on the road we go. Okay, so jobs along here, is it this one? Number eight, Bonescroft, here we go. Right, let's pull in here. We'll get this job done. I'll try and take you guys in to show you a bit of footage if the customer's all right with it, I'm sure they will be. Let's go in. Okay, so we are here, <laughs> but the customer's not. This is a common theme with these little vlogs I've been doing, isn't it? <laughs> Although the first one was me, uh, not at the right job, but uh, no, apparently they're putting oil in their car. I don't know. God knows. It's a new build. They're not living in there yet, so they're on their way here. About 10, 15 minutes, apparently, but so I might, what's the time? 10 o'clock. I might have my sandwich while I'm waiting, actually, and then uh, crack on with that, but I will take you guys inside and show you what I'm doing, make the vlog a little bit more interesting for you guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. Quite enjoying doing them. Uh, and they seem to be performing well like the views are quite good on them so yeah let me know in the comments if you uh like this style because it just means i can give you guys more comments with the, with the, more comments more videos with the tutorials obviously i can only you know a lot of carpentry and jobs like that it's all similar stuff you know like hanging doors you know you hang loads of doors so at least this way i can give you guys a bit more uh yeah a bit more content that's what i meant to say so uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know down below. And uh, the next time you'll see me, we'll be inside the property working. Okay, little look around what we've got to do. We've got these two cupboard doors here rubbing on the carpets. That one rubbing on the carpets. This cupboard here rubbing on the carpets. That one. Them two there. And the same with this one. And then we will be measuring up for, but not doing today, storage in this cupboard here. So probably some shelves, some hanging rails, bits and pieces, like I've done in the other video that I'll link up here for you guys to have a little look at. But yeah, let's get on with it.
thought I'd show you guys this. Look at this for a bit of new build shelfing. A bit of ropey old ply. <laughs> Ain't even got a decent edge on it, look. It's gonna last, isn't it? Right, we're back in the van. I'm sorry, I've got to have the window open. It is so hot today, 23 degrees. I know that don't sound too hot to a lot of people like across the water and that, but really hot, really muggy. But um, that's that first job all done. So that's all sorted. They're well happy. I measured up for them in the cupboard and all the rest of it. So that's all good. So we're gonna shoot over to B&Q now um, and get the materials for tomorrow's job. Now. I know you might be wondering why b and Basically, I just get on really well with a bloke and he cuts all my material up for me. So, yeah, I go b and to get MDF. So, yeah, he's going to cut it all up for me. So then tomorrow, basically, well, I say he's going to cut it all up. He cuts it all into rips for me to the right size. And then, basically, I've just got to cross-cut everything to the right length. So, well handy way of doing it. If you ain't getting them to cut it up for you, you should be because it saves so much time. Um, yeah, so across to B&Q now, pick up that material and then we'll be back over to the workshop to make up them ladder plimps. So let's get on with that. Right, yo guys, so we're back in the workshop. I leaped forward a little bit because uh, time got away with me a little bit. Ended up running around doing a few other little bits. But um, if I point you down here, I've got you facing the wrong way really, hang on. So down here you can see I've cut up some sections. I've cut all the pieces up for these ladder plimps that I've got to make later. Um, I've pre-painted, the other day I pre-painted the fascias on these because they're going to be gloss. So we're going to pocket hole the fronts on I'm going to screw the backs on, so I'm going to go through now and uh, drill all the pocket holes. won't show you too much because it'll be boring, but I'm just giving you an insight to what I'm up to really, so let's get on with that. Right, yo, there, guys. Let me flip you around. That's the two ladder frames ready, and I've got some blocks for like leveling blocks, so you can level it up and screw these in. It's got a nice solid base to sit on the floor. But I'm gonna call this one there, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If you got anything from this at all, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. The like project videos ain't going away, and the tutorials ain't going away. This is just to give you guys some extra content um, and easier content for me as well, because the uh, the tutorials and that take a lot. So uh, these are a bit easier for me to get out. So I really enjoy doing them. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.